6 Technologies That Will Change the World in the Next 10 Years Number 1, Internet of Things Number 2, Not Just a Big Data, But Zeta Flood Number 3, The World Gets Smaller Number 4, The Power of Power Number 5, Another Family Tree Number 6, Humans, or, Borg Let's begin with Internet of Things we have passed the threshold where more things are connected to the Internet than people. The transition to it the 6 also supports seemingly limitless connectivity. Cisco IBSG predicts the number of Internet-connected things will reach 50 billion by 2020, which equates to more than 6 devices for every person on Earth. Many of us in the developed world already have 3 or more full-time devices connected to the Internet when factoring in PCs, smartphones, tablets, television devices and the like, second technology is not just a big data, but is at a flood. About 5 exabytes of unique information were created in 2008. That's 1 billion DVDs. Fast forward 3 years and we are creating 1.2 zettabytes, with 1 zettabyte equal to 1024 exabytes. This is the same as every person on Earth tweeting for 100 years, or 125 million years of your favorite one-hour TV show, says Evans. Our love of high-definition video accounts for much of the ink race. By Cisco's count, 91% of Internet data in 2015 will be video, yeah of course, the world gets smaller. With always-on connectivity. Social networking has the power to change cultures, as we saw with the Egyptian Revolution, which led to the Arab Spring. Social influences will continue to move rapidly between cultures. A smaller world also means faster information dissemination. Tweets from people in Japan during the recent earthquake were sent to followers even before the U.S. Geological Survey could issue its official tsunami warning to Alaska, Washington. Oregon, and California, says Evans. The capture, dissemination and consumption of events are going from near time to real time. This in turn will drive more rapid influence among cultures, and the next source is the power of power. The human population also continues to grow, and researchers estimates that a city with one million inhabitants will be built every month over the next two decades. More efficient methods to power those cities are becoming a necessity, particularly solar energy. Solar alone can meet our energy needs. In fact, to address today's global demand for energy, 25 solar super sites, each consisting of 36 square miles, could be erected. Compare this to the 170,000 square kilometers of forest area destroyed each year, says scientists. Such a solar farm could be completed in just three years. There comes another family tree. Virtual humans, both physical, robots, and online avatars will be added to the workforce. Already, animated characters can recognize speech, convert text to speech, and have knowledge of previous encounters. By 2020, robots will be physically superior to humans. IBM's Blue Brain Project for instance, is a 10-year mission to create a human brain using hardware and software. They believe that within a decade they'll start to see consciousness emerge with this brain, Evan says. By 2025, the robot population will surpass the number of humans in the developed world. By 2032, robots will be mentally superior to humans. And by 2035, Robots could completely replace humans in the workforce, here we go humans, or, Borg. According to Stephen Hawking, humans are entering a stage of self-designed evolution. Taking the medical technology idea to the next level, healthy humans will be given the tools to augment themselves. Lewandowski offers the following examples. In July 2009, Spanish researchers discover substance for photographic memory. In October 2009, Italian and Swedish scientists developed the first artificial hand with feeling. In March 2010, retina implants restore vision to blind patients. And in, 
June 2011, Texas Heart Institute develops a spinning heart with no pulse, no clogs and no breakdowns. While the early use of these technologies will be to repair unhealthy tissue or fix the consequences of brain injury, eventually designer enhancements will be available to all. Ultimately, humans will use so much technology to mend, improve or enhance our bodies that we will become the Borg. Futurist Ray Kurzweil is pioneering this idea with a concept he calls singularity, the point at which man and machine merge and become a new species. Credit, Cisco Chief Futurist Dave Evans, thank you for your attention, please do like, comment, and share.